today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a Sheen try on haul. <laughs> we're gonna be doing a Sheen try on haul, girl, of $800. Let's hop right into it. You know, your girl, how to get a new wardrobe for the new year, and it's what it is. And I'm gonna do that anyways. <laughs> okay, let me stop playing. <laughs> Yes, I am. But anyways, that's my business. Look at 
this dress down. Let's talk with your friends. You can do that and still do the things. Guys, I got these rose gold heels on with this. I don't like the deep plunge, but it's very comfortable nonetheless. I would probably wear this to sleep, to be honest. I would recommend sizing up on her. Just because my little black simple purse, maybe the top of my waist, that would be cute. Also, about these little Yeezy slides, little things. They're really cute, but this shirt is big. Why is this actually cute with the little long? I can do this. I can do this. It's really not cotton. It's this like weird, shiny looking material. And that's the only thing I don't like about it. I like my shirt's kind of material. It's super soft, but it's like the sweat shirt kind of material. Y'all, look at my room. Look at my room. The only thing I don't like about this shirt, y'all, this is so plasticky. So I got this shirt, right? And then it go with these pants and then with the slides. I'll let y'all see the shirt. This is a, and this is her. She's Girl, the girls with the big boobs. I'm saying try this one. Try this one, babe. Try this one. She, they're sitting up. Most important thing to remember when you're dressing is it should be you. We're not trying to dress to look like nobody else, to be like nobody else. When you're shopping, when you're dressing, babes, dress to be confident. Dress to be comfortable for you and what you like, not what everybody else expects of you. Can you hear her? Can you hear her? Because Chris Brown said... It's popping. So I got a pack of silk, brown and nude hair ties from she. All the purses except for this emerald green purse, and it came separately. I don't know why it shipped separately, but she's so cute. Do, and I like tied it around the purse instead. And I think it just adds a little pizzazz to the purse, and it's really cute. You know, it goes like that. So with this order, I also got these rings and some little fake anklets. I was complaining about how many products there was and like how much stuff I had to put up, how much mess I had to clean them. But I had to stop and realize like, girl, it is a blessing to be able to even have these clothes. Like some people can't even, you know, can't even get them for themselves. Stop. And like remind you guys to be grateful for what you do have. And also to remind myself to be grateful for what I do have. When I get big, I really want to be able to give away things. Like I always said this, I want to be able to give away houses, cars. I want to be able to give away clothes to people who really need them. You I know? want to take this time to share a verse with y'all. Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 says, Not that I speak in regards to me, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. This this verse humbles me. It keeps me in humility. It reminds me that like, when you pray for things, when you pray for God to give you more, remember to be grateful for what he's already given you. It's okay to ask God for more. You know, it's okay for to ask him to use you in bigger situations, I would say. So don't what forget else? to be grateful and steward well over things that he's already blessed you with. Don't be asking for more if you can't handle more. Yes, I'm going to get to enjoy them eventually, you know, but that's going to take time. That's going to take going through the things that you don't want to do to be able to access the blessing that God has put in front of you. So I just want to say before you ask for more, make sure, and this is to myself as well, before you ask for more, make sure you're grateful and stewarding well over what you have now. Because what you have now, God is preparing you in this season for the next season when he gives you more. Because if you didn't store well over what you have now in the next season, you're going to lose your mind. You're going to lose your mind. You're going to go crazy. You're going to be like, what am I going to do? So at the end of the day, I just want you to know that God loves you. And whether you believe in God, Jesus, um, whatever religion you are, I'm not here to bash nobody for what they believe in. But I know that God, there's only one creator of everything. And I know he loves you. He loves you all. No matter what you do day to day, he loves you. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Until then, have a great day, sweeties. Don't forget to tell you on what I said. Bye. Y'all, enjoy these bloopers. I feel like these are the best part of the video. the boxes at the same time so i'm just trying to get a thumbnail that's cute y'all hold on oh that's a good one ah! they could say dang the mommy you hold them boxes real good kilani always snap her and janae and
summer. Sometimes summer be snapping scissor. Maybe you wanna sizzle. Sometimes, don't tell nobody. Okay, baby, we don't know. We ain't old enough to know these songs. I know Lex Lifetime. Come on. Come on, Erica Badu. Come through. Y'all, listen to me. See, y'all, the advertisements do too much. They do too much. Come on, come on. I'm just selling the deal. I'm on. Yeah, anyway. Oh, it is exhausting. Exhausting. Being a celebrity. So long. For me, this is giving. It's night out. It's not giving day night. This is too revealing for going on a date. And unless you're my husband, you can watch me wear whatever you want. Don't crack your phone. Do not crack your phone.